50 metres, uh, gold medals from 2015, Sunny Darana in the stroke seat, leading him across the line mark. Uh, indeed, uh, France trailed by about a seat, the uh, boat from Great Britain, and I saw it Bert Fisher in the bow seat of the British boat, glanced to his right just as the French uh, began to make their move and move past that boat from Great Britain. It was uh, quite a race for the GB boat most of the way down the course. So, we have France leading across the line by about a length and a half, winning in third place. Germany took four and then just waiting on the official results between Hong Kong, China and Norway for fifth and sixth. Nonetheless, they'll go through to the recharge. The second heat of the men's quads get underway. Japan in lane one, Austria in two, Czech Republic in three, Switzerland in four and Greece in lane five. And our all-star commentators following this race, Sam Price and Colleen Saville. Good morning, guys. How's the race look from your perspective? Yeah, Pretty interesting from here. Uh, as you say, we're looking for the first two groups to make their way to semi-final A and B. We'll be picking from Japan, Austria, the Czech Republic, Switzerland, and Greece. So this field of five, rather than the previous heat, which was a full field of six. Like we went to quadruple skulls, brilliant. It's one of my favourite events actually. It's a great level having a lead lightweight category. So off the line will progress through, but the Danes are now to look by any means. Camera nice and works, certainly uh, we're the lead, but uh, the Danes, uh, let us know your houses, have responded, they are also at 38, and there's less than a foot in it between these two cars, as we move down with 300 meters to go. This is what we do, we're actually striking almost exactly the same time in both boats, and the speed is just, I mean, you know, one boat takes a foot, the other, the other boat takes it back, with 250 meters to go, red blue line. Here they come, the Americans, maybe three feet now over the Danish car. You can see if the, the, uh, that Danish car can push back in. They're at 39 strokes a minute and rising. I will give it to you off the power. What a race here. Heat two of the women's car. Stunning stuff, this. Isa takes her up to, up to 40. That gear change is just what they need because they're starting to pull out to a death up on Denmark. No real reaction from Christina Johansson in the stroke to the Danish boat. It's still down there at 38. Isa takes them up another minute for 41. I think this is the powerful thing we were looking for, Denmark. Oh, I'll tell you what, uh, Tom and Isa is well known for that good push in the final 500. They were showing you then how they can turn on the after them and can really make that boat move. Listen to the scream in the crowd, that's just what we want to hear from you all as they count across the line. Local favourites, Megan Taylor and Percy Arthur for the USA win this second heat for the women's car. They go straight through to the A side, but perhaps a length out on Hunter Jackson and Christine Johansson for Denmark, who narrowly missing out. We'll have to race again in the repechage. Bit of a tussle here then for third place between Italy, still going for it, Veronica Calabresi and Ilaria Brogini against the Irish boat racer, Pio and Irene Crowley, who just hit the Italians to the line for third place. Italy take four, and then coming in for fifth, the People's Republic of China. Long strokes of the board for the first heat of the women's four. Netherlands in lane one, Great Britain in two, Poland in three, USA in four, Italy in five, and Australia in lane six. So leaders at the moment, the USA, locals will be pleased to hear that, but it's not by much, only a canvas in it, Mark. 
Indeed, a little bit of a start, but early in the race, a lot of water to go before you reach that finish line. Here, just like the pairs we just saw, only one boat, the first boat across the line, will go to the A final. Fifty to go. They were going back and forth, and now the Aussies out front, Peter. Stamping their authority on this first heat of the women's four. The Australians, three quarters of a length, they win this first heat of the women's four ahead of the USA. It's a tight one then for third place. I think Poland just pipped the Netherlands to the line. What a fast sprint finish there. Maria Wyszbowska in the stroke seat, taking them up over.